responsible journalism. Last questioner, Ms. Edith Regalado of Philippine Star. Salamat. Kanina pa ako naghintay sa iyo. Natutulog na ako. Ikaw yung pumipikit ng mata. Okay, good evening po, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand there are still the departments of health, uh, in the trade and industry, or tourism and uh, environment, uh, DNR. Wala ka pa rin na ano? No, he's na? coming. He's, I think, a resident of the United States. He's retired, an executive, sa, man of the national, multinationals. Uh, medyo bata pa. And he's coming back. Ang isang, hindi ko talaga nang hinayang ako na ayaw, Pero pawisan kayo ng gusto, <laughs> nalagayan na. So, si Willie naman, hindi ko na, Willie Wong, hindi ko naman, Admiral yun sa Navy. Pero if you notice, puro military ito sila. Ito si Ed, pati si John Galvante. At yung isa namang tatabi nila, New People's Army yan siya. So okay lang kami dito sa gobyerno. We're fine. <laughs> Uh, ganun lang ang buhay. You know, mayroong ano. Ha? Let me just also put my two cents on. I know that it is not uh, uh, new if I get criticisms. Especially mixing up with the right or the left. But in this country has suffered so much. Uh, that's on, you know, money for the defense and for the NPAs, the rigors of revolutionary taxes, uh, which would uh, prevent people from going up and, uh, you know, develop the lands there, and the killings. And it has never stopped. But there are other military which are vehemently against it. So I ask them, when shall we stop? When is the right thing to stop? to correct. Just like the MI, MN. You know very well that before Magellan came in 1521, Mindanao was already Islam. And most of us here who migrated because of the clarion call of the Americans to go to Mindanao because it is in the land of promise, it was not really the correct it was because they could not find workers and the Moro were not ready for, to work under the Americans. Because most of the Americans who came here were uh, Christians and the original inhabitants there are the Moro or who were or are Muslims, Islam. So how do you solve this problem? We are here, they are here. I, I have to look for a way of doing it. Otherwise, we'd have passed on to the next generation the fighting. And the problem is I, well, I am, uh, come from uh, mixed blood. And I have a family who are Islam, a line of my family, my grandchildren. And on the other line, the, my grandchildren are Christians. So what do I do? Let this just uh, pass it. Palang it did dribble, uh, it dribble the problem until such time that I uh, pass it on to the next generation. Kawawa ang bayan natin. And the sad part is that we are all Filipinos. Well, at least that we are called after uh, Magellan came here. Uh, Philip, as they called the Philippines, because uh, we are the subjects of Philip. But that, this, that did not sit well with the Islam in Mindanao. Simply because they cannot be the subject of a Christian king. Hindi silang pagkinatawagin yung Pilipino. No self-respecting mo, tan bigla mong tanong yan. Pero yung Pilipino? Me? No. What are you? Maranaw. Tausog. Muslim. Me? Muslim. That's the answer that you'd get. So let us try to find out a way of stopping all these wars and we come up with a, a nation that's only one. And I would never agree to any 
Never, never. I will not agree to any breakage of this country. Uh, sir, follow-up question lang po sa uh, the question ko sa isa, uh, nung isang, uh, the, 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 the last part ko. On the matter on the PCSO, may napili na po ba kayo? I'm looking for another Galbante. <laughs> isa pa yan. So will you change certain, ano, sir, yung mechanism in yung charity Mas, work niyan? Grabe sa lahat yan. They, they were able to mix uh, the illegal uh, games to the to the young loto. You said earlier that you're going to find somebody who was a verdugo to head PCSO. I want somebody who would kill at first instance. Kill at first. I I I want all those guys there who are corrupt dead. So I want a chief. Uh, if you commit one mistake, you'd shoot you. Now I'm just, that's a figure of speech, actually. That is a figure. Eh, bakit ka man patay mo kat that first instance? Alam mo, pinaka-corrupt yan. Naghanap ako ng tao na talagang humihirit yan. Huwag mo sabihin na will shoot, na literally shoot. Ipakulong mo, di maghanap ko na naman ng bagong jeep. Ano yun? It borders into a preposterous statement, or outlandish, if you may. Huwag naman yung kagatin niya. So, what is it? He's just looking for somebody who can control. And that is a very hard thing to do. Sa LTO, it took me several days to really ponder who can handle, who can... But one of the pinaka-stricto na dumaan dito sa nakita ko na opisyal, sa polis, General Galbante. Kasi mag-upo, yan siya sa supa dito. Ang aid niya doon, no, kalahat ng puwit, mahulog na, kalahat ilang ang <laughs> kalahat ilang nakaupo. Ganong katakot yung <laughs> eh, mag, mag, pa, sa, sa, nabotan ko siya sa airport. Sabi ko, ay, General, nandito siya, nakaupo. Nandito ako. Yung aid niya, nakita ako, papalit pa ako. Doon sa dulo, kalahat yung puwit lang ang nakasangit doon sa ano. Yung kalahat yung... Ganun ka, takot yung tao. Oh, ah, well, uh, they will have a taste of it actually in the coming days. But most of yan sila, Morente is a general. General yan si Morente. <laughs> Dumaan yan dito, Arde. Kagaya sa nauna lang si Jan Galvante. Morente, si La Peña, Koy wala na kasi na, na, nag-overtake siya si, oh, he was there. Si, Tagadabaw yan, who led uh, sa Nika si Monteagudo. Hmm. Uh, uh, puro mo sa yan. I can assure, I said. I'm not saying that to, uh, the, the, the inquiry and use the we, no. I'm just saying I can assure you that all of those uh, who are selected are really men of, uh, uh, of goodwill and honesty. I, I, I am dismayed, almost. Because uh, yung Kalangayan. Ito mangyari, they commit mistakes. If you are a depositor, or not, if you are a member of the SSS, and you have not really bothered or maybe asked for any of your statement of your accounts, be careful. Lalo ano itong private SSS. Eh. Because makita, if they say that you have not really touched or even care to, to, to look for uh, a statement of what you have, you know, contribution mo. Somebody, marami dyan, just like the GSIS, hiram yan sa pyraman and they would falsify everything. And just like the SS, uh, the GSIS, when the widow or whoever the beneficiary would go there, it would take them eternity. It would take them eternity to have the records corrected. And by the time the money is released, both SSS and GSIS, the beneficiary, usually the widow, is already dead. 
that's one that I have, that's one that I want corrected immediately. Second is itong mga widow. Both army and lalo na yung police. They should not be going to Manila to follow up their claim sa kanilang asawa. Total computer naman. There, so there should be an office. Bakit sila pa maghingi ng uh, kanilang uh, years of service, a certification, or even the name, or yung death, death record ng death penalty? Naalam nila yung police kung sinong namatay sa kanila. Why do they, we don't have to go there? There is an office there in every region who take care of everything. The widow or the beneficiaries or the children of the dead soldier or policeman will only have to go there, identify themselves to be the true and accurate uh, beneficiaries and the money released to them immediately. Bakit pa sila magpunta and they have to reconstruct everything? Years of service, anak ka ng... Dihanapin mo lang yan doon sa record. Akala ko ba computer yan? I do not want anybody, and that would include in every office, I do not want queuing. They go there, they submit their uh, application papers, then I do not want it received by the computer. I want it received by the clerk. She or he has to sign there. Receive from Rodrigo Duterte the following application. Papirmahin mo. I do not want computer because they can erase it. Then you give him, a, give her a stub, stub, or whatever. You know, be back on this month, on this day, at this hour, and you will have your paper, whether it is really approved or disapproved. Wala nang follow up. I do not want Filipinos lying under the heat of the sun. I do not want it. I lahat yan sa professional regulations. Uh, statistics, Europe statistics, census and statistics, no more. Huh? Ah? I'm sure, yes, I would be able to correct that. I will, I will, uh, uh, yes, I is a son of a poor man also. He knows the rigors and travails of a poor person. Kaya ko pinili, walang, walang mayaman dyan. Ang mayaman dyan, si Joel Maglongsod lang. Mayaman ang hindi. <laughs> Alright, the, the press conference is ended. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, sige na lang. Oh. Baka, excuse me, excuse me. Mike. Hey, sorry. Hello, hello, Mike. Sorry, ano Jerome Morales from uh, Reuters. Uh, let me ask you, is this a press con? O konbensyon? <laughs> Sir. Yes. Uh -huh. Sir Jerome Morales from uh, Reuters. Sir, very quick lang. You met the Chinese ambassador uh, twice in less than a month. What are, no, what are the initiatives that we are expecting from the two governments? Or, and uh, what, what's so important with this no, talk, the sir? The first time he sent, uh, he, when he, he delivered to me a letter that was sent to them. Came from Jinping congratulating me. This time, in his capacity as ambassador. Right. Ora mismo ang sinabi sa akin, ipabasa yung papel. I see. So what are the initiatives Just that like we the expect? Japanese sponsor. Uh, uh, the, 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 the guy that came here, uh, eh, emissary lang yun eh. I have yet to receive the ambassador. He was just a special emissary from uh, Abe, I see. the premier of Japan. I see. What were the key issues that were discussed, sir? No, I, I refuse to discuss about ito mga China siya. Ano, ano. <coughs> it's uh, something which uh, is also dependent on the development of arbitration case we filed. By, uh, violation of UNCLOS. I cannot talk to them about anything until I get hold of that verdict, whether it's favorable or it's not. Because then I confirm our position. No? But there will never be an instance where we will surrender our right over the Scarborough show. That is not a territorial issue. It is an issue about 
being obstructed or impeded because of the constructions there, and we cannot exercise freely the right under the UNCLOS.